So this time around, I checked that Blade Runner 2049 and Dolby Cinema with Dolby Outbounds and all that. So let's move on to the review. Alright guys, so the plot for this movie was basically kept a secret from us from like the trailers and the clips that had been out before this movie came out. And basically what happens in this movie is that a replicant actually has a child. So, you know, we have Ryan Gosling who is Officer K. He is supposed to find this child before anyone else because if they do if anyone else discovers this child of a replicant then it's it's just gonna be mad chaos all right guys so I'm gonna be completely honest I'm one of the few people that actually just barely saw the first Blade Runner before I even saw this movie um I saw this a few days before I saw 2049 and I honestly really like the first movie I like how it's something a little bit more different from any other sci-fi film um, it's not your Star Wars or anything. It's it's it has a little bit more. It's like a more of a story driven film, and that's what I really like about the first Blade Runner. I really like the first Blade Runner, and it really made me more excited for this movie. But even before I saw the first movie, I was already pretty much excited for this movie, mainly because of the talent behind this movie. The director Denny Villeneuve he has directed some really good movies, in fact, great movies that I have seen. In fact, two of those movies that I saw were actually some of my favorite movies from the year when they came out. You know, Sicario, I gave that a 9 out of 10. It's one of my favorite movies of 2015. And Arrival, 10 out of 10. It's, I think, even in my top three favorite movies of 2016. So even with him being the director in this movie, I was already pretty much excited to see this movie. I think he did a good job, but I just didn't think that he needed to go from something like a rival to a bigger scale film like 2049. He basically makes a $150 million art house film with 2049. So it's basically a smaller film just disguised with a really big budget sci-fi background. But I honestly really like that. It just didn't really bother me. Ryan Gosling like expected I just love him in this movie. I love his character. I love his role. He does a fantastic job. But there's a really strong focus on his character in this movie. The movie revolves around his character for about 80% of the time to a point where it honestly kind of starts to feel kind of old. I also love the return of Harrison Ford's character in this movie. I actually, I, I really like them in this movie, even though they do not really take advantage of the return of his character that much because... You know, from, you know, the posters and the trailers, you might think that he's going to be in this movie for, a, like, an awful lot of time. I thought he was going to be in this movie, like, I thought his character was going to first appear in the first 45 minutes of the movie. It appears I was proven wrong. He actually appears two hours into this fucking movie. But his character is back, and I, I just, once again, fantastic job. Oh yeah, Jared Leto was also in this movie. I was excited to see him in this movie, and honestly, I was really disappointed with his character. They could have done so much with his character. They were, there was literally a opportunity to do something with his character. They just really never go there, but yeah, I did like his character, and, and I do like Jared Leto in this movie. Just that he's not in this movie for like the time that you might expect him to be. Um, I thought he was going to be in this movie for like 30 minutes. He's in this movie for 5 minutes. Dave Batista, you know, I'm not going to bitch about his role because I knew he was going to have a small role. In fact, his role was in this movie was a little bit more longer than I thought he was going to have. But, you know, his character makes sense. Like, his character is in this movie for like three minutes and it makes sense why he's in this movie for three minutes. Unlike, you know, Jared Leto or any other character. My biggest complaint when it comes to 2049 is the fucking runtime. It did not at all need to be two hours and 45 minutes long. This runtime makes the story drag on so much, an easy 30 minutes could have and should have been cut off from this film. That runtime just makes it feel like there's like like two or three different movies all put in in one movie. The runtime is just ridiculous. Also seeing this movie in a matinee at 11am did not help 
because you know you just woke up in the morning and you know you don't have much energy and this is one of those movies where you have to like pay like close attention to and if you don't if you just like you know if you just like just zone out for like one second you're fucked for the whole entire movie it will get very difficult to understand and follow and this movie just absolutely can become boring sometimes but the visuals and the cinematography are absolutely stunning in this movie. Seeing this movie in Dolby with Dolby Vision, you know, it really helps to improve the experience while you're watching this movie. Uh, you know, like every frame, every, you know, there's, you know, this movie is loaded with beautiful frames. There's a crisp detail to look at. I just can't exactly recommend paying full price to watch this movie unless you're a big fan of the original Blade Runner, then yeah. But I'm going to give Blade Runner 2049 a B. Yeah, it's a good movie, but I just personally found some problems that really just seemed to bug me a lot throughout the movie. But I'd say if you love or even like the first Blade Runner, then you're going to really at least like, if not love, Blade Runner 2049. But overall, it was just kind of disappointing because, you know, the director, I just love his work so much. I, I just don't know what really went wrong here, but um, it's this you know it's my opinion, it's my silly opinion. If you love this movie, awesome! I'm glad you love this movie. I know a ton of people that gave this movie a 10 out of 10, and that's absolutely awesome. I'm glad they could enjoy it better than I did. But anyways, Blade Runner 2049. Have you seen it? What did you guys think about it? Tell me in the comment section down below. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Now see you guys later. Bye.